Hey everybody. Um, sorry I am out today, um, but you are going to take these Avid notes for lesson two. So let's get started here. Uh, I'm going to make this red. Okay, so our e essential question is this. How do adjectives work in the French language? Okay, um, again, at any time, stop the video and if I'm going too fast, okay? How do adjectives work in the French language? They are very particular um, because sometimes, a lot like the Spanish language and Italian and Portuguese, they come after, um, except in certain situations. So let's just focus on this part for now. Adjectives are words, this is review from like first grade, that describe nouns or pronouns. They must agree in number, oops, number, and gender, okay? This is what um, I've been talking about, about um, how adjectives need an E at the end, right, for feminine, and if they're plural, they need an S at the end, so that's what we're going to talk about right now. Let me just make these red describe okay okay so let's talk about feminine adjectives most feminine adjectives feminine feminine i can spell at four o'clock in the morning most feminine adjectives we add an e you know this at at the end of the word, okay? For example, my class is interesting, okay? My class is interesting. Um, class is feminine, okay? So that's why we need to know um, if words are masculine, masculine or feminine, and that's exactly why when I introduce new words to you, I put either le or la. Let's see if we have any nouns in here. Oh, yeah, right here, le, la, or un, or une. So here we have um, some doo -doo body parts, like this is for the face. So I said une barbe to let you know that it's feminine. Une moustache, un nez, okay? Feminine, masculine, masculine. So when we know those things and we practice those things, we can do adjectives that agree. So my class is interesting. I'm just going to tell you my class, the word class is feminine. Ma class A is, and then interesting, intéressant, but because it's a feminine word, we have to say intéressant. Ma class est intéressant. Oh my gosh, what did I do? I forgot my accent. Okay. Ma class est intéressant. Um, chemistry, la chimie. Chemistry, the word chemistry is feminine. Um, la chimie. So we would say la chimie a and oops, yeah, intéressant. Okay, we good so far? We oui, madame. Okay, cool. Many adjectives ending in a consonant often double the consonant. So this, I don't want you to worry too much about it, but let, just know that sometimes when things are feminine, we have to double um, a consonant. So I don't want you to worry about doing it. I just want you to know that if you see that, that's why. So for example, il est canadien for a he, him, or they. Il est Canadien, but if the if there's a she her that is Canadian, it would be elle est Canadienne, and we have two ends. Okay, so again, I'm not going to test you on that, but just be aware if you see it, that's why. Okay, all right, moving on. Plural adjectives. So we know this. I've been talking about this, but now we just want to solidify it and make sure we do it from now on. Most plural adjectives, we add an, what is 
is it's a mess at the end. All right. For example, I have, okay, so this sounds funny. I have some difficult homeworks. I'm going to take that off because in French, homework is always plural. Always. It's always plural. Always. It's devoir with an S at the end. So I have some difficult homework. Oh, that's my dog. Um, so it will go like this. Okay. J, I have day, some, and then I have to do devoir difficile, and I have to put an S at the end, okay, because devoir is plural. Ember, I'm coming, just wait, I'm making a video for my students. So I'm also going to bold and underline this, that would be a good idea for you guys, okay? All right, I'm going to let her out. My dog is trained to when she goes out, wants to go outside, she rings a bell. Isn't she so, L.A. intelligent. Good job, Ember, you just helped me teach some French. L.A. intelligent. Okay, don't, don't eat any bunnies. The girls are French. All right, so now we have a feminine word, the girls, and it's plural. So, I can't believe I have this much energy at 4.45, 4, 4 o'clock, oh. The girls, les filles, girls, has an S at the end, sont, are, français. Now, there's my normal français, but because it's feminine, I got an add an E, and because there is more than one, I got an add an S. And now it says, les filles sont françaises. Française. Les filles sont françaises. Okay. All right. Adjectives usually come after the noun. After. After, after. Um, why is this all funky? Oh, I see. Example, the American teacher is Madame Bati, or Madame Bati is the American teacher. That probably sounds more English, right? More fluent. So here's what I would say. Um, Madame a une prof américaine. Okay, I'm Americaine because I am a she, her. If I were a he, him, me, I would be American, but I'm American. So, Madame est une prof American. Okay, the adjective, no, that's how you spell it. Oh, with that accent, oh my gosh, I'm the worst. <laughs> Do you like physical science? Um, um, Est-ce que tu aimes, do you like, les, again, science is plural in, in French, les sciences physiques, S at the end. Okay, so now the adjective comes after, and it agrees in number, S, S. All right, see what we did there? Yay, and it's red. Okay, so tomorrow, um, when I'm back, we will, hope, hopefully, um, we will do some more examples, okay? All right, but you guys got a good start. All right, your job now is to um, work on your, um, your crosswords and word finds. Make sure those are done because tomorrow I'm going to collect your dossiers and I'm gonna grade your vocab section, okay? Um, so work on your crosswords and word finds. Your, these notes are finished, um, and then you're going to practice, uh, make sure your Duolingo is finished, and work on your song project, okay? Because I don't want you to have to do that over break. All right, so practice pronouncing your song project. You can do it. All right, bonne chance.